Hey, old man, give me everything. Oh, oh, uh, call an ambulance, call an ambulance, but not for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I have sad news to report. The news is that Blue is dead, and we're here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and we're here to report that with your boy Michael. What it do? The other boy Giovanni. Yo. And I guess there's me. Hi, my name's Caesar. <laughs> um, but I have a question for all of you. How do you feel about Blue? Uh, blue makes me blue, hence sad. What about you, Giovanni? Uh, it feels like the, it feels like getting blue balled. Like you know, <laughs> you, you have a lot of hope, and, and it's got nowhere to go. <laughs> and it makes me feel like a Smurf. Not only blue, but very small and sad. The point of this is, I think Blue is a is in a very dire strait as of right now. I think blue in the One Piece card game is probably the worst color in the entire game and by a long shot. But before we go deep into that, I want to like name the good qualities that blue has before we like utterly just knock this kid down to the ground, <laughs> brother. Like I want to bully blue right now, but we'll be nice to the kid. Who wants to go first? Uh, I'll say good talking points. It's very good at searching. The fact that you could, you could rearrange how you draw, kind of, and send stuff to the bottom. Or if you have a card that's literally look through the deck to find a card and play it for free. Yeah. Like uh, Sentamaru and Caesar. She -da 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 -da. Yep. What's it called? They're like the, the two best searchers in the game because I don't think there's another searcher that physically allows you to look through the deck. Yeah, I was about to say that. Is there any searchers like that that literally searches through the deck? Do you know any in green or red or purple? Belief is, I think you just look through like the top few that they give you, and then yeah. if you get lucky, you well, get not lucky. through the deck, not, but yeah. yeah and also, five. you don't actually search for any card, like exactly. Five stuff. No, no. Uh, when you play the Sense of Mario, you get to look through the deck. Yeah, and perfect. another thing is too is with this, if you look through your top five, you don't have to send them all to the bottom like other decks. Yes, other they colors. rearrange. You could at least like choose which one you're like. Oh, if I get the nine drop Mihawk on like my first or third turn i'm obviously not going to need him to the bottom yep also a lot of its negates are just purely searches too just like look at the top three i forgot that one drop negate but look at the top three and then rearrange in any order yeah, it's a, like, it's a crocodile see. negate here's the thing i think other than odin because odin is disgusting at this blue probably <laughs> the archetype blue probably has the best draw in the game right um there's many cards that are like just filtering your deck when you look at the mihawk and i forgot what other card also filters out like you know trash to draw for example and there's many like love love beam for example is probably the best blue negate maybe top tier negate i won't say best negate but top tier negate for a fact um other than that i don't I don't see anything good about blue except maybe that it can make you last till round 20 and we'll go more into that why it's not really that is, helpful another thing i see that blue's kind of doing good at is uh they're the uh fuck i forgot what i was gonna say never mind ba -ba 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 -ba. okay so i guess with that right we're going straight to i remember uh i'm pretty sure they're the only cards in the game that lets you look and grab something from your trash what oh what i was the moria i mean the moria and i already forgot who else fucking does it, I think it so the moria one. essentially that yeah, lets you filter out card used card. cards okay yeah so it has like a like in Yu-Gi-Oh terms like a graveyard effect and essentially like making your band like dead cards useful okay but negatives what do we have and the main crux of this video uh, there's nothing that could end game for you like they in my experiences when we were playing yeah, we made it to round 20, but I had nothing that could yeah. do damage or even, like, threaten you. We've played... I played blue probably the most, and I agree with that statement really well. Um, Today, me and Michael, who was Michael playing Crocodile, me playing Luffy, was the most grindiest game of my life because it was non-stop blockers. But at the end of the day, I was not only able to whittle 
uh, Michael's hand, but also go for game because blue just has no kill option. It feels like you have these huge beat sticks, but at the end of the day, they're just beat sticks. There's way better and more effective beat sticks with better skills in almost every other color archetype, right? Kaido's got the nuke. Green has the kid. Red has that Luffy. Like Red also has Shanks that lets you bypass any blocker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's like if you're running the Great Wall of Blue, yeah, Shanks just like, nah, bro. Well, good. Shanks doesn't bypass any blocker. Um, Shanks only bypasses That's blockers red, with two K or less. The five drop Luffy does. Yep, yeah, the five drop. See the five, and that's why Michael with Crocodile's ability every turn, even though it was a detriment to him, would bounce back the Luffy towards my hand. I mean, granted, I would summon it next turn, but like it was a way for me to not use my energy appropriately. Even, you know, even against Red, the only thing you're doing bouncing the card back to their head, back to their hand, is making them pay for it again. Because if it's yeah. got rushed, now you're giving them another yep. swing. Yeah. And it's like a terrible matchup for green because, oh, who am I going to bounce back to your hand? Okiku, just so you could rest my blocker and then play uh, killer so you could kill my blocker for free. Like yeah, that's a good point. I would say, I think blue bouncing, right? L this is probably blue's biggest weakness in the entire archetype. It loves to bounce stuff back to your hand. I think for both purple and red, it's not the worst it's not the best, right? Especially with the Robin, which is probably the strongest three drop in the game. You're just stopping it from attacking another turn, which is saving one of your units. But against green, as Michael stated, it's probably the worst thing to do. There's almost no cards you want to bounce back in green. Green has so many busted when you play effects that it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> we'll say too, um... Jimbe has but his thing is you bounce it to the bottom of their deck, which sounds amazing. But he's four he's four costs for only two thousand damage. And not only that, doesn't even combo or doesn't contribute any combo. Like he's just a glorified beat stick with one good on playability that you just use for once and then dump him. And yeah, we if we're getting real here, like, what what is Blue even trying to do besides this blocker wall that's, like, the best thing out of Blue? Yeah. Like, Green is doing the whole energy untap and all that and drawing and Red's rush, Purple's KOing. Like, what is Blue trying to do? <laughs> like, that, like it's maybe like the whole thing is setting up the top five of the deck. Like, if they had more plays with that, that'd be better. Like, oh, you know, combo a card from the top of your deck if it's a warlord so you'd get free defense to protect these cards that are in rest or something you know because like if i'm gonna rearrange my deck that's all great but like can i use it if i'm not even gonna draw it can i use it <laughs> that, that's a great point you made that i want to like just touch on r real quick yes there's a lot of blue cards in this game but from not only like our testing but watching a lot of people build their own version of blue it feels like Kuma and the pacifistic combo, including the Sentamaru, is probably in almost every blue deck I've seen. Almost Say, every blue deck. Blue is also uniquely has the only card in the game that you could theoretically, if you wanted to, because the card lets you, you could run an entire 50 cards of pacifistas. It would be stupid, but that is the only card of the game that doesn't have a limit to how many you could have. Well, to go back to my point because it wasn't finished <laughs> congratulations on the wall you have that is the pacifistas but after that like you're si against red you're almost never going to use your pacifistas as an offensive ability because red loves to rush right and that's a th it's a great matchup against red because you'll make it grindy you'll just stop the attacks like happen that happened today with me and mike but after that like i mentioned before there's just no end game option for it i i see no purpose in blues control when what is the point you're leading to control to right what is at the end of the finish line that's not your death after you stop like 100 attacks and you really got to think about it at least when i play red against these blue decks like, they're really trying to do this whole pacifista strat, but okay, great. You block and attack, right? Now you got to combo a card out of hand, most likely, because it's a 5k blocker, right? And then on top of that, 
it, uh, who's the guy that plays all these pacifists again? Setsumaru. He's very, yeah, he's very killable for red. I mean, if I had to, at worst, I'd jet pistol it, but yep. Nico with an Okiku, or the, there's multiple ways. Oh, uh, Robin get can't. It. It's only no, three. He said, he said Nico with an Okiku. Oh, okay. Yeah, like they, they, it's really not that hard for me to get rid of it. Like, it's great that that's free value that's not even coming from your hand. Yep. You know, like most, <laughs> but like. It's still just not enough to actually be relevant that, that it's like, oh, this it, it's in every deck. This is the best thing blue has. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. And there's like there's some good cards, I would say, in blue. For example, the seven drop freaking Dolphl uh, not Dolphamingo Crocodile. I don't think it's bad per se. But I think for my value, and a, and a few of us agreed with this pre recording like there's some other cards that just have more value like the banish is great right like yum banish yeah. cr crits of the hand dude but like the other effect not so much because theoretically what nine times the one blue hanging, what the ramp it up is the ener uh, the ener you're, you're basically getting an extra 1k hit because now yeah. instead of like instead of saving that dawn for a, a counter you're using it for an attack yeah exactly so it's and, and it, I don't see it being in a world where you have a whole handful of counters anyways. Like, you know, you'd be like, oh, I'm really getting my value from that effect. Yeah. I could see in a world like the theory, right? The big brain Bandai Namco makers of this game was like, okay, we're going to have a wall. People are going to play the crocodile. And then that wall is just going to protect him and the crocodile is going to slowly whittle them away. But the crocodile is like, it's not that hard to destroy, especially red once again, freaking uh, Okiku and then Gum Gum Pistol. And then who, who's the better blocker? Who would you rather have? Pacifista or Law? 6k blocker or 5k blocker? That's very true. <laughs> That's very true. I honestly would have preferred maybe the Sensomaru search still, but instead of a, you can uh, have more than four copies of this deck, maybe like have it four. But then 6k block, right? I think that would have been great. That should have been the bare minimum, bro. Well, yeah. In my opinion, too, I think Boa's a better blocker than uh, Pacifista. Because at least with Boa's Boa, great. yeah, you get the Boa's option the to search or you get the option to draw a card, whether you're blocking or attacking for one dawn. Yeah. But you're almost, ne unless you feel like, oh, okay, with all the cards I have, I can like slowly whittle life away there's almost no point you're gonna attack with the boa right unless you feel like you can go for game this turn yeah and then in green there's the cards that can rest her still which is a problem i mean that's just game mechanics that's not a bad thing on her but yeah you know sometimes she doesn't even get the draw <laughs> like I, yeah. i'll rest her and green is crazy right hand. because green not only is the uh archetype that has so many when you play effects so bouncing sucks against blue it's also the archetype that loves resting cards in a archetype that is blue that loves blockers it's like yep. such the most counterintuitive like rival i've ever seen agree i don't know when they made these decks who play tested green against blue but uh <laughs> they they must have had some hidden promos we ain't got yet <laughs> And we mentioned the Sentamaru combo and that every deck runs it, but that's because, like, not a lot of other cards are that good. Like, as an archetype, like Michael mentioned, and I, I've seen this since, like, week one. I've been trying to, like, experiment with it, but the Smiley Caesar Clown combo is something I've, I've wanted to do, but I just don't see in practice actually working, you know? Like, if you guys need to read it, a 4-drop Caesar on KO, play one Smiley from your deck, then shuffle. Then a 3-drop, which theoretically should be free if you get your value off of the Caesar. Dawn times 1, your turn, this character gains plus 1,000 power for each card in your hand. So it's a 2k with the Dawn included. And then, blue likes to draw, so theoretically, you might have 5 cards in hand, it would be a 7k swing. But then next turn, it won't have any of that, either the Dawn or the inflated uh, power cost. And it'll just be back to a 1k that's going to get destroyed anyways. Yeah, and honestly, even for a deck that draws so much, like at, at least a color archetype that's trying to draw so much, it still doesn't have more cards than, than like green. Green just really does it all. Yeah. And the same thing, like, I think red, red probably would have now. less cards than yeah. blue, but there, there'd be an argument that purple would have just about as many cards as blue. Yeah. In hand. Oh.
You yeah, were saying Michael? No, I thought he was talking about total cards, but I know what he means now. Yeah, yeah and I like, will what, say, what was your hand ever maxed out? Like honestly, like what, what would you say is the most you've ever had in blue in your hand? I think 12? I've seen eight. You have twelve cards. Yeah, Joel's not good at this game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, team member Joel. <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, I will say instead of uh, another thing, instead of Bandai focusing on bringing out the next archetype being black, I think they should focus. At least, the very least, the set after the Navy set coming out, they should focus on uh, kind of fixing blue with, Okay. Uh, without really? better phrasing. I'm going to stop that only because I kind of disagree with that. I don't think they should stop black. I think no matter what, blue will get better as each set comes out because, you know, card games power creep, right? So I'm just going to say I'm going to roll back that statement. Only because I think blue will get better, right? Like, for example, this I was going to say this for potential, but I guess Michael brought it up. There's this law promo, and I think pretty good, right? I think it's pretty good. Six drop, 7k yeah. power. So not only is it, oh, okay, let me out combo one. You need to out, out counter 3,000. Um, No, four, six, yeah, 3,000 for a leader. On play, if your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, add one opponent's life cards to their hand. Now, will it go for game? Through effect, no, uh, effect alone, no. But it's still a great free hit that I can see why you're making a wall of blockers if you can, like, you know, play this law, like, two, three times in a row. Those are the effects you're looking for, like, uh, a six energy for 7k that gets rid of a life. Look, everyone's main decking that Virgo, and he's a five drop for seven that doesn't have an effect. Exactly. Like, he, Virgo's main board, because he's just a 7k that's for five energy, like... And, and this is main board in a lot of blue decks. Yeah. <laughs> and what's even more crazy is I think the Dolph Flamingo, I think we mentioned this, but like, I don't think their boss monsters are so good. Other, like, Kaido has a nuke. Mihawk just bottoms a card. It's yeah, and it's only less. a seven. Exactly. And the kid, the useless kid is eight. Douglas Bullis is eight. Shanks is nine. Kaido's ten. King is, King is a nine. There's a Kaido ten. Kaido 9, like, nothing worthwhile you want to send to the bottom with Mihawk is there. I mean, there's going to be some, like, big number. Card. What happened? You're, you're, uh, then again, it's still only one card. You're well, no, think about it like this. to get rid of one card. That's your whole, like, maxed out energy. That's almost no. your whole energy. Well, what you got to think about Geo is, like, imagine in a scenario, if they would have bumped it up, it could be eight or less. Let's say you're playing kid, you play the kid eight drop, I play Mihawk next. Oh, the kid eight drop is now at the bottom of your deck. If yeah. it that was but they put it one too low. I th I think one too low, especially for what it does, right? It, especially we mentioned this before, but with the Jimbe, it it honestly feels like in a game that already KOs cards, like in purple, like in red, red has a lot of free KO with gum gum bullet. They were so afraid to bottom deck a card right that's why you have a gym bay like this yes it has a trigger so i know it inflates the value but a 2k power for four yeah, energy killer. that just bottom killer. decks at three or less that's why you have yeah, a I'll... nine drop mihawk that just bottoms a seven or less right i it feels yeah. like they were so afraid to bottom deck a card but what's the point when there's already cards that ko right no, nah, 100%. If, you, if other colors are getting the same value for cheaper, that you know, either way it's getting rid of the card. Yeah. Blue, blue's got to come with the heat, like something. Because paying an extra energy just to have the trigger is, yeah. uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Especially a little 2K guy. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I know there's an argument, right? Because I know our team member, Alex, who was in our first video, said, well, blue's pretty good in a game with summoning sickness. Great. For red. Red has, like, the, like I said, three drop Robin. Needs when attacking, right? But there's like, like I said with green, it has so many when you play effects, so many that like, it's not, e it's almost like a loss for you at when you're playing green for purple or red. It's decent. It's not the worst, but it could be better. I think it's best. Yeah. It's best against purple. I can see. Yeah. Out of all of them. Cause purple outside of Doug, no Douglas purple rarely has rush. And unless they're playing, a, if they play a 10 drop Kaido, which yeah, it'll nuke your field, yeah. but it also nukes their field. I think you have the most potential against purple, then red, and then green. You just got to hail. It's basically a Hail Mary game. 
and i think before we uh move on to our next topic which is going to be a quick one i think we should talk about the leaders and the potentiality of the leaders i know we had a leader ranking video but because this we're focusing on blue i want to see what blue has to offer with like theoretically their their main kit their drive you know um if you haven't seen the video check the link down in the comments yeah check the video i think don flamingo is one of the worst leaders ever i think i agree in theory it had a good system law does it better and you could say that about a, almost every blue card that they have good effect they have okay effects but there's other cards and other archetypes that do it a lot better just yeah. him being able to rest summon a four or less but it's rested one of the worst effects in the game because it's just gonna die next turn unless like i said you got your value off of a black beard when you play um Kaido, I, I don't count blue purple because I've seen so many blue purple decks that they just run simply like Love Love Beam and like a few like low energy like Alveda and something. Because Love Love Beam, the draw one is just huge on that. So blue purple I don't really count. Crocodile is an okay leader though. I, I will stay with the family that Crocodile is an okay leader. I think he's out of the two bl only blue leaders, clearly better. I will say towards end game, if you can get to a point, he's really good at taking away people's blockers. But the biggest thing is, how the fuck are you gonna play end game when you don't have anyone to swing with you outside yep. of your leader? Yeah, I and I can understand like even if you ran the sense tomorrow combo, people are like, okay, just swing with your blockers. But if you've been blocking all game, right, and your opponent should be protecting their life, you know, maybe some go crazy with red like Zoro and just like take their life with the Sanji or something. But like, if you've been so pre preoccupied with building this wall, when is the point when you're gonna swing with just 5,000 weenies for all life? Because you gotta remember, once you're going for life, the reason green is so good, 8K swings, 12K swings. These are attacks you can't easily out combo unless you're dumping your hand. Blue, okay, you swing with a 5K, 1K. You swing with another 5K, 1K. Another 5K, 1K. Yes, you're losing cards, but it's not the value of, hey, this is my kid, and I'm swinging 12k at you. Drop, drop like your entire hand. And especially like, like used to, the useless kid a drop. You, you got to combo up if you want to even attempt to hit. Yeah. And then, like I said, the law blocker is a 6k. <laughs> so. Yeah. I there's just there's almost zero value in blue as of right now. There's some great cards. Boa Hancock, probably best blocker in the game love love beam top tier negate and i'll fight that i'll fight people for that even the mihawk i think has some great cycling capabilities i know michael here hates the mihawk but for a trash to draw to you hate two cards in your hand it's a free cycle you know it's not that it's not the worst i will game, say you know, with all that, that being that said way. with yeah. all that being said uh stuff we would like to see i would like personally to see more more for cheaper send to the bottom of your decks effect because it has potential but i think you said it best they were too afraid that it could be too op but like let's say jimbei was either costed three less or costed three or two or they at least gave him more value in terms of his attacking he'd probably be played a lot more and he'd probably be more useful instead of oh i'm playing a four for two thousand even, no if, combo even if the Mihawk, right, for nine, he, I would keep I would give you okay, keep the energy of what he can bottom is seven. Make it two. It's two characters. Why is it just one character? Where's yes, the value actually. in that? Or they could even do what uh what I believe King, one of King's cards does, where if you're gonna do two, make the first one seven or below, and the second one has to be five or below. That way you don't feel like you're nuking every hit, big hitter. Yeah. So th th that's that's the point, right? I agree that it, 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 I don't know if they were afraid like because I know I said that but why make bottom decking not only a rare ability such like you know an expensive ability as well so I don't know if they're afraid but the way blue feels like it like the way blue plays it feels like it so I would like to see more bottom decking as well and I think for a control deck Another card I didn't mention that was good. I think Mr. Three has a great ability. If uh, does any of you want to read it, or do you just want me to do? It? Yes. Uh, I got you. 
On play, if your leader is a Baroque Works type, choose one of your opponent's co cost four or lower characters until the end of the opponent's next turn. That character can't attack. I think in a game with Summoning Sickness, just freezing your uh, your opponent character just from attacking is top tier, especially when blue, I think everyone agrees, is the control deck, right? Especially since every freaking guy has blocker in this archetype. I, I yep. think... Yeah, my I bad, Jim? No, I was just uh, thinking, like, honestly, like, I can see a nice control game with blue, but, like, until they really come out with some better boss monsters, you know? Like, that's yeah. what I really want to see. If I, had to, if I had to say one thing I really want to see from blue, it, it's a it's a good... Something make me feel good. Like, I just tapped nine energy. I want to feel good about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, at least... Uh, if I'm gonna tap nine, like you said, maybe I can. I could if I'm swarming because I think it's a control swarm. I want to be able to free play. Like maybe you know how they have these cards that say, "Hey, if you have this in your hand and you play this, you could summon another card." If you're gonna rearrange the top of your deck exactly how you want, right? Get it to where. All right, if I play this big expensive nine drop, I get to play another like five seven drop, or maybe not so much, but like something of value. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If I'm gonna swarm, I want value. Another Here's idea for Swarm is what they could do. So that would that would make sense with the whole theme of blue. I'm looking at the top of my deck. I'm drawing a lot to cycle to find this card. You know that that way the the trigger works on play. Play a five uh, drop whatever. You know. Yeah, but here's the thing: blue does swarm, but it swarms with blockers. So now you're asking, do I leave my entire wall off for a turn, or do I keep it and hopefully? somehow damage you the next turn after i, I honestly hope the pop the pacifista engine goes this this isn't what blue should be yeah. it shouldn't be the pacifista wall yeah. <laughs> like it's that great that's to have perfect swarm, to say it. but that that's this isn't what blue is <laughs> yeah you could literally not, call blue the pacifista engine i love that that's amazing i mean i haven't seen a blue deck without it to be honest it's it's because it's it's too much value in a blue in the blue deck but the value it brings is little and that speaks volumes of what blue provides i think a good idea because geo said swarm is if they uh if they change blue instead of control just make it swarm they have so much potential with the characters that one piece provides like mr one two three four and five just make it where oh if you play this one you get to look through the t like a specific number in your deck and if you have another like the one up so let's say you play mr five oh you look through then you play mr four you look through and then you can find mr three that gives me a good reason to have someone like uh perona like i get to rearrange it play it and then keep doing it until i have like a swarm of like all the way leading up to mr one also very doesn't draw that sucks yeah, yeah oh, that, that would make perona fire that would literally no, I'm like, saying like you, i'm you saying it's like if you could rearrange you, 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 the reason why this would be good is because look you play the perona it doesn't draw right but now, if you had the energy to play Mr. Three and say he looked at the t the, yes. the third card on the top of your deck, and if it was a Mr. Four, you play it, right? Now yeah. it's like, hey, I didn't draw up that Perona, but I got to play something for cheaper. Yeah. It didn't go to my hand, but I, you know, I got value if I hit it in my top five. Here's now, the now thing. that's okay. What you just explained is the Dolphamingo leader, but it just but it just doesn't it, work. Right. Yeah. It's it's in rested mode. What you explained would have been a great engine for blue, but because Don Quixote, Don Flamingo puts them in rest, trash immediately. Trash. And you can easily get knocked out too. What is this? Yeah, it, 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 I love exactly how you explained that. You can play like literally. You can play one of the best blockers in the game. Who cares? I'm gonna fucking aim for that because there's no way I'm gonna let you have a blocker that's gonna draw you. Also, you know. I gotta yeah. kill it before it gives you that value. So I think is there anything else we have left to discuss? Or I, I feel like we hit all the topics we wanted to say. You're correct. Okay, well, with that with that I just wanted to say, I think I think blue is in a rough spot. I definitely think blue is the worst color in the game. And if you agree or if you disagree, comment down below. If you think we're total jackasses for being like, but I played the Don Flamingo deck and I won my locals. Don't then lie to yourself. You don't win the you don't win with the Don Flamingo deck. You must have paid off the ref or something. Don't <laughs> lie to yourself. Oh, uh, but uh, 
honestly, like, drop it in the comments. Let us know what you think. We want to hear yeah. it. We're playtesting right now. We want to give you guys good content that, like, you know, and this is just honestly after playtesting this for a while, this is really how we're feeling. So yeah. we're just giving you our honest opinion. So yeah. we'd love to hear what you guys think. Let us know in the comments. Obviously, this is all opinion-based, like Gio said, but I do see some hope for Blue. Like I said, that six-drop law we talked about, like, a few minutes ago is a promo card, right? So it didn't come with romance dawn so i can see blue going in the step in the right direction so with that uh i think we i think that's all we have to say so uh i love you all any final words from you two like, sure comment subscribe <laughs> oh you fucking sell out of course you tell them to say, say you fucking love them jamani i want you to say you love them i love y'all i love y'all <laughs> and with that Everyone have a great, wonderful day and bye-bye.